Alright, I just want to say a few things in this video. So, first of all, the other day, Google asked me to verify my phone number again for my account. Now, I know I said if it does it again, I'm not going to bother, but I'm going to give it a second chance just because I want to create a few more videos before I stop. But, yeah, it's just annoying because, as I've said before, I don't have my phone number linked to the account, so it's not actually verifying anything. It's just data collection, because that could have been anyone. I could have used anybody's phone to, quote, verify this account. Now, another thing, as you guys may have noticed on the top of the page, it says, you know, on January the 5th, there's going to be some changes to the terms and conditions and whatever. I mean, I haven't even read read them. I don't care. It's probably a load of garbage, and I'm not even going to be active on here anymore. So if anybody would like to, you know, message me or whatever, just add me on Steam. I'm probably going to link it to my channel before I leave. Although... Talking about Steam, I don't even know how much longer I'm going to use that for. Probably a few more months, but I'll be honest, I'm getting tired of Steam as well, because it's just not what it used to be. I mean, Valve as well. I mean, yeah, Valve owns Steam, and the other games that they made, like, I have a lot of respect for what Valve has made, but... In the last few years, they have sort of disappointed me. And as you may remember, in 2020, they added a chat filter to CSGO and TF2. And that's a sign of things to come because, you know, I didn't think that was ever going to happen. But I guess they're now going to have to cater to sensitive individuals. And it's only just going to get worse and more restrictive Oh yeah, they disabled sprays in September, didn't they? And they also made a change where it deletes... You know, this is by default, deletes any sprays that are in your spray folder. And I know it annoyed a lot of people who collected sprays because they weren't even really... Well, they didn't know about it. Because mo most of the time... Well, I don't think everybody reads the update logs because normally... it doesn't like if it's a minor update it doesn't tend to really affect anything but once they're deleted that's it they're gone and they can't be recovered not that it affected me because i don't collect sprays but i know some people did so that was annoying now another thing valve has done which i'm annoyed about and i'm sure you guys some of you may know how i feel about it already left for dead 2 valve just let some random group hijack it last year and now they seem to be just running it into the ground which is a shame because Left Dead 2 was one of my favourite games now GTA 5 not owned by Valve but I'm going to mention GTA 5 as well Like games like that as well just suck now and obviously my GTA 5 version is on Steam but of course, it's a problem with Rockstar games. I mean, they're pretty crap now. And I used to actually want GTA 6 to come out, but now I don't because it would be awful, especially if what Rockstar have done in recent times is, you know, if that is a sign of, you know, their attitude to making games, then I don't want to see GTA 6 because it will be total garbage. Which is a shame because GTA 5 is probably going to be the last good game from them. I can't really comment on uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 because I've never played it. Looks like it's got some cool graphics though, but that's about it. I mean, it's basically just GTA 5 but the Wild West. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably not going to be playing on Steam for much longer, and when I stop playing games, like, because I I don't want to be one of those guys who is still playing video games, like, when he's 30 years old, that would be pathetic, like, I would be a loser if I was doing that, I hope that I'm no longer playing games, like, by the time I'm 25, in fact, I say by the time I'm 
23, I wouldn't want to be playing games, not on a daily basis. I'm not saying I wouldn't, like, maybe go back occasionally once in a while, you know, just for a bit of throwback, but the daily video games, it you know, it needs to stop. There comes a point where you need to grow up, and I am getting to that point. There are quite a few people as well that, you know, I've met, you know, online... Now, obviously, I don't know them in person. Sometimes you do wonder, though, uh, who they really are. And then some other people, you, you have an idea, but you never really know. But then some of them, I think, you know, I kind of wish I could see them, you know, in real, in person. But I know that's never going to happen. And it's too bad. Sometimes the best people are, like, on the other side of the world. Which is a shame, but that seems that always seems to be the way in my life because where I live, because uh, I actually live in around South London, I guess you could say, and it's just uh, well, the people. Let's just say it's not easy to find the right sort of people around here. Uh, because it tends to be about money and stuff. I, I, I don't know how to, how to really put it in words. I mean, yeah, I'm not saying there's not, you know, I'm not saying there's no normal people, but it's certainly, it's harder because the type of people who tend to live around here are not exactly, uh, you know, they're not, the sort of type who really down to earth I don't know maybe I'm just not looking I mean not not that I've been able to go out for the last two years really anyway but yeah uh, something else uh, the yeah so I'm gonna be I'm going to just be I, I might even stop using the internet like next year at some point because I'm just getting tired of it you know are you guys ready for web uh, the new web so I remember like the older web because uh, obviously it wasn't the old web but the older web where it was like HTML4 everything was using Adobe Flash and stuff that was cool and then everything switched to HTML5. That's when I'd say the internet changed properly to what we know now. But there's going to be a new one, which is quite scary, where you will have to link like your personal identities to your online accounts. Now, I don't, I don't think it will affect sort of old for old forums and stuff. But what will happen is the big major sites will insist you link, you verify yourself to your account, and then they can know exactly who you are. And then that's just going to be scary. And I mean, not that I use sites like that anyway, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really use sites like that like facebook or anything i don't use those but a lot of people do and they're just gonna go along with it so yeah i'm i have no interest in being on the new web which is going to be coming soon I mean, that, so much, so much has changed in the last two years. I don't even like. I've almost lost track of things. <coughs> Excuse me. That's just a bit dry. Don't worry, it's not coronavirus or anything. The yeah. So the world has just changed so much so even i am struggling to keep up and i don't like where things are heading and i am definitely not the only one who thinks like that 
there was someone there was someone I actually like again online so you never really know who they are you don't even know if they're telling the truth but um, this person you know they're actually pretty light they their mind was actually pretty similar to mine I wish I could have known them but I don't think that's going to happen now and they said well I, okay I, I'm not going to go into that actually because I don't want to cause any controversy but I hope they're all right let's just say that I, mean, I, I don't worry I, I try not to you mustn't feel too personal especially for people you've never met but I you know sometimes I still sort of think I wouldn't I wouldn't really want anything to actually happen to them even if they've made one of the dumbest decisions ever when they said they weren't going to do a certain thing what am I even on about okay uh I don't think there's really anything else to discuss here. But I just wanted to get a few thoughts out because these have been on my mind for a few days. So, yeah. I'm going to be doing another few videos. One of them's going to be I'm going to be answering some questions and then I'm going to do so I'm going to answer some questions that I know people have asked me and then I'm going to do one for questions that people haven't asked me, but I'm going to answer them anyway because they're the sort of things that, who knows, might get asked, maybe not, but just in case because I'm going to be gone so I wouldn't be able to answer them anyway. So I just feel like doing it. Maybe I'll upload one more Flash uh, playthrough. I was going to do uh, Luigi's Revenge, but the... Other, the newer version because I thought I might as well put it on uh, I was going to do no damage but it is actually really tricky so I might just go through it I'll try not to get damaged but chances are I will now the other video I'm going to make is probably just going to be a New Year's Eve video and then that's going to be my last video on here. Then maybe I'll be active in the comments for a bit, but I doubt it. I think I'm just going to stop using YouTube completely. Uh, I, As I said, I'm going to link my Steam to my channel. But for how long I use Steam for, I don't know. But it'll be longer than this. And... With Steam, I probably will check on it every so often, but I'm. you're going to notice I'm not going to be as active as I used to be. Although I wouldn't be one of those guys who... Well, I don't think I'll be one of those guys who, you know, goes away forever and then never comes back. But it, it'll probably start... You'll probably start seeing me disappear for months and then come back maybe for a day and then go again yeah okay I, I don't think there's anything more to say so I'm gonna end the video here